We are going to move to the afternoon slate, and we're going to start off with the New England Patriots heading over to Los Angeles to take on the Chargers. Chargers, a five and a half point favorite at home, total of 49 here, which uh, seemed like a lot of points uh, until you saw exactly what the Patriots offense did last week. And, and honestly, all season, if they had not been fumbling the football in some of the worst possible spots, then, then they could have put up a ton more points than they have in some of these games. Uh, the Patriots are 5-0 and against the spread in their last five against the Chargers. None of that matters because all of that was with uh, Tom Brady and whatnot. <laughs> so, so, you know, but, uh, what do you make of that? Nothing. I, I look at this matchup, and I am still not a big fan of what the Chargers are doing. Like, I think that they're, they're a good team, not a great team, and that's kind of where I see New England. New England, as far as total DVOA, is actually a better team. They're number 13 overall. The Chargers are number 17. New England's offense is better than the Chargers' defense. The New England defense, just a little bit worse than the Chargers' offense. I I look at this as a team that we don't know what to expect out of the Patriots. I think that they will be able to keep this game close. I think they could actually win the game outright. And the fact that I'm getting five and a half, I feel pretty good about. I'm going to take the Patriots plus the five and a half here. Two young quarterbacks, you know, Mac Jones and Justin Herbert. I I expect a, a showcase here. So I'm I'm going to roll with the Patriots to be able to to keep this within five and a half and and maybe win the ball game. Yeah, I think the Pats have a chance to win the ball game too. I'm going to take the the head start as well. I'm going in with you. This is an interesting thought. This will be the largest collection of Boston transplants in in the country going to the new stadium in LA. <laughs> I did not, I did not think of that. Yeah, they, they're they're projected to have fifty thousand Pats fans there. Unbelievable. The Staples Center doesn't hold that, you know, and 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 you know, Boston fans have shown up for Lakers games, and Clip, well, really Clippers games over the years and things of that nature. But, you know, none, none of the other arenas around the country really have held that, that, that the team would travel to. This is it. That is, they are expecting 50,000 Pats fans. They are going to overwhelm the Chargers fans. I can get down with it. I can get down with it. Uh, another, another point of advantage here, New England number 12 in special teams DVOA, and the Chargers are dead last in the NFL in that metric. So if you're looking for another form of an advantage here, that would be one of them. That would certainly be one of them. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.